What's going on, YouTube folks out there, Facebook friends? My name is Otomir, and this is the Hard Black Truth. And I just got done watching uh, Nicole's view, and she had a video of a uh, uh, interaction between the White House press secretary, Sarah Huckabee, and I'm not sure who the black news reporter was, but it was a black female news reporter, and it just seemed as though she played the perfect token role for that portion of the press conference. I mean, it was it was sad to see that she had uh, essentially given up on arguing that the anthem in and of itself has racist origins. She didn't even address that. And it... <laughs> Nobody seems to want to address that. And to that, I'm going to say, as a black man, I should not be singing my oppressor song. I should not. It should not be a normalized thing for me to sing the song of my oppressors. And Francis Scott Key was a slave owner. There's racial overtones in that song. OK, the word slave is in that song for a reason. It doesn't matter to me if you cut the last two verses off and make us sing the first verse. When I know the origins of everything, when I understand exactly the message that he was putting across, that what 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 might make you shed a tear terrifies me or at least is meant to try to do so. And as a black pe as a black man, black people, we should not be forced, or we should not be made or expected to to fantasize about a national anthem that has nothing but malicious intent for us. You're asking us to pretend while you idolize this 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 song and this flag. Now we're not down here burning your flag. We're not doing that, but we simply take a knee and we're protesting the entrenched white supremacy the systematic racism that we endure and if you want proof of it ask me to stand up and respect the flag while the national anthem plays again because every time you do that you prove my point and there's nothing that you can sit there and tell me you might be able to sit there and speak you know with 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 all authority in front of those folks out there in, in, in the press uh, uh, wing or whatever, you might be able to speak amongst your own and they accept it with all authority. But folks like myself who know better, you're not going to get that kind of concession out of me. And don't get me wrong, I see full well what the hell you're doing. Every, all teams in the United States of America, all teams from professional to minors have been given the word sean king just got word from someone in, in the cowboys uh that that you know if you take a knee you're on the shit list basically we got schools down there in louisiana if i'm not mistaken telling the students that if they take a knee it'll be viewed as disturbing the peace and they can lose their spot on the team for doing so so now you're forcing these children to honor a flag while the playing of a racist, white supremacist national anthem sounds off in the background. And we are expected to bend over and take it. They are talking as though they expect us to simply take it. And I'm not. You have a Jezebel pastor. Shout out to Tariq Nasheed for for uh, showing us that story. You have a Jezebel pastor somewhere out there in uh in South in my state, unfortunately, South Carolina, uh, upper part of the of the state. Uh, uh, basically, said in so many words, "Take your ass back to Africa if you don't like it." She used the words, "If you don't like it, move, move where, move where." She all but stated to move back to Africa because who are the ones that are protesting and why we've been protesting? And what was sad was there was no shortage of black women out there supporting her. She had her husband apologize. Her name is Hope something or another. I forget her name. But God damn it, that burned me. That absolutely 
burned me that she went back to the 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 first edition of, of, of the white supremacist handbook. She blew the dust off of that shit, opened it up and said, oh, religion, here we go. Tell them about Jesus. And she made sure to say, pray only. Not verbatim, but she said in some way, she basically said the only one that's going to fix this is Jesus. And, and disrespecting the flag is not the way to do it. As far as these white supremacists are concerned, and I have nothing but 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 hatred and vitriol for you at this point if you try to demand of me that i somehow honor your flag during the playing of the national anthem you in my book are a white supremacist and there's nothing you can tell me to convince me otherwise i am sick and tired of being forced to, to conform to some bullshit that you put in place. Now that I know better, you can't tell me that that song, again, I say, you can't convince me that that song has anything but malicious intent towards me. There's been so much fallout over Trump's remarks. But what seems to be apparent is that white supremacy, they, they, they might have taken a, a two piece to the face, but they're back up. You had the, the, the commissioner of the NBA, no less, talk about how the national anthem is a time of reflection. They're trying to turn this shit into a kumbaya moment. They're trying to force a demand of black people to shut the fuck up and, and in their mind respect this racist white supremacist national anthem and its flag and not say or do anything about it. Those are my thoughts. You guys let me know how you feel. Hold on to our narrative. Lung Yao One here. Peace.